Wow, would you take a look at all this complexity here, all this pit and mount topography that's developing. See, the redwood forests of Northern California are unique in that they hold an extremely high level of carbon and all this rich organic matter, the highest in the world at a whopping 2,600 metric tons of carbon per hectare. That's more than seven times the amount stored in the Amazon. Though they also hold the record for the highest level of above ground carbon in all these massive trees that live, die, and decay over thousands of years, a majority of the carbon stored here is actually underground within the soils. See, fallen debris and organic matter decays into a rich humus that fuels food webs underneath our feet, which can store up to 60% of the carbon present in a temperate forest like this. But that's not all, because coast redwoods are some of the tallest trees on Earth, around 350 feet tall, and they develop some very intricate and complex crowns as they age, with multiple reiterated leaders and candelabra crowns, creating shelves and nooks and crannies that collect and store leaf litter and detritus from the surrounding canopy, collecting in pockets that can be over 7 feet deep and store 10 10 times the amount of carbon than soil on the ground. Over time, that's all broken down by fungi, bacteria, and insects to become a rich source of soil that other plants will take root in way up there in the canopy, from saplings of western hemlock to salal and huckleberries. All of this adds to the richness and carbon storing capabilities of these forests as they develop over very long periods of time, and it takes thousands of years for this complexity to form. When we clear-cut log these forests on a myopic, decades-long rotation, we prevent the development of complexity in these trees and ecosystems, and thus, the stores of carbon that they hold. And with over 95% percent of old growth redwood forests like this having already been logged and an even higher percentage of similar tempered forests lost all across Turtle Island, there is very little complex old growth forests remaining with intact carbon cycles. As we face increasing uncertainty in our world, it's imperative that we not only work to protect and conserve existing intact forests, but work to restore and rehabilitate older second growth forests and manage them in an ecologically sustainable way to create resilient ecosystems that store carbon and mitigate the impacts of climate change well into the future.